Psyche Truth, Life, Wisdom. Hi, my name is Mira Hoffman, and you're tuning in to Yoga for Beginners and Relaxation. This is part three of our three-part series. So we're going to be working into some different asanas and postures. So coming into triangle pose, we're going to separate the feet quite a bit of distance apart from each other. I sort of line them up underneath my wrist. That's a good distance for me. And then we're going to inhale and really lengthen the spine and exhale, bending over to the side, bringing that top arm over and out. And go ahead and take some nice deep breaths here, inhaling deeply, feeling that stretch all the way from your hip out along the rib cage, all the way to the fingers of that top arm. Breathing nice and deeply. And you can see I'm joined with Katrina again. Today we're wearing matching outfits, so let us know. Leave us a comment if you like it preferred where we have coordination between our outfits or if you check out the other two parts of the series if you prefer us to have different stuff on just let us know we're interested in what you think we're going to go ahead and inhale and come back out and then exhale over to the left side now bringing the right arm up and over so a little pointer here it's natural to want to cave a little bit and bend forward but we don't want to do that so really working to roll up and out almost like you're between two panes of glass. So taking a nice deep breath here, not a lot of weight in that bottom hand. And inhale, coming back up to center. Exhale, the arms down. We're gonna shift and face the front of the mat, coming into warrior one. So both toes are facing towards the front of your mat. You're going to inhale the arms up and then exhale bending down. So the front leg is bent, the back leg is straight, really centering the hips so both of them are facing forward and letting your weight sink down. You want to make sure that your knee is not coming past your ankle, so don't do that. Really stay engaged, keep a nice 90 degree angle in the leg. Keeping that knee back. Inhaling deeply. And exhale, sinking a little bit deeper. And inhale again. This time we'll exhale the arms down. We'll switch legs. Coming into warrior one with the left leg forward. So inhaling both arms up and exhale bending in. If you notice your knee starts to come out, again you can just scooch those feet and toes just a little bit further out. Taking a nice deep breath. And letting your weight sink on the exhalation, really deepening. And inhale, pushing up, exhale down, stepping the legs together. We're going to switch one more time to come into warrior two. So stepping the right foot forward again. This time the left foot is facing at a 45 degree angle, so not straight up. We're going to inhale the arms to the sides now, and then exhale, bending forward. So gaze is towards that front hand. Again, checking the knee, making sure it's not drifting forward too far or that it's not wobbling in or out. And keep it nice and stable. Taking a nice deep breath here. And as you exhale, you can deepen a little bit. And if you want to take this into a more advanced Warrior, you can exhale and bring the right elbow down to the right knee and inhale, reach the left arm up and over. Again, making sure that you're not collapsing the chest, but really keeping it open and wide. Take some nice deep breaths here. And we'll inhale, coming back all the way up. 
and exhale the hands down, switching the legs. So this time the left foot is facing the back of the mat. The right foot is at that 45 degree angle. Inhale the arms up and exhale down. Looking out on towards that left hand, really gazing out far and deep. Staying with your breath. And as you exhale, you can bring the left elbow down to the left knee and the right arm comes up and over. Several deep breaths here. Just really relaxing and feeling a nice stretch all the way from the ankles out through the fingertips. And inhaling, coming back up to center. Exhale the hands down. We're gonna step the feet together just to give the ankles a little bit of relaxation. You can do some nice ankle rolls. Stepping from side to side. You can point and flex the foot. Just anything to try and release any tension in there. Now we'll separate the legs one more time for a forward bend, keeping them nice and wide. We'll inhale, the arms to parallel, and then exhale, folding. And you can bring the hands to the ground if you want to, or if you want to grab hold of the ankles, that's okay as well. Whatever feels comfortable to you. Taking a nice deep breath in. And exhale, relaxing the head. If you want to turn the head from side to side to release any tension in the neck, or maybe nod it up and down, just anything to help those neck muscles relax and release. And we can intensify the stretch by bringing the hands behind the back and releasing the fingers, and then letting the hands fall over the head towards the ground. It's a great shoulder opener. Remembering to stay with your breath here. And we'll exhale, bring the hands to the hips. Inhale, rolling up. And exhale, you can step the legs together. If you notice that you feel a little lightheaded, just making sure to take some deep breaths to get oxygen back to your brain. If you need to sit down for a minute, you can do that as well. And then we'll step to the front of the mat to come into tree pose. So there's three different variations of tree that you're gonna see. Choose whichever one feels best to you and then do it for both sides. So shifting the weight into the left leg, we're going to inhale and bring the right leg either up to the calf, up to the inside of the thigh, or if you want, you can bring it to half lotus. So wherever your foot is, just making sure that you're not directly over the knee, so either on the calf or in the thigh or half lotus. Then we'll inhale and bring the hands to prayer position in front of the heart. And just letting yourself really feel that nice elongation in the spine, that steadiness throughout the foot. And if you want to come all the way up, you can extend the arms to a more open tree pose. Taking some nice deep breaths, really absorbing fresh oxygen, nutrients throughout the blood. And then we'll exhale, bring the hands down, releasing the leg. And we'll shift the weight into the opposite foot. So stepping onto the right foot now, and again, bringing your foot of the left, either to the inside of the calf, the inside of the thigh, or if you want something a little bit more advanced, you can bring it to half lotus. So whichever position that you were on with the other foot, making sure to choose the same position for the side, that way you stay balanced. We'll inhale, arms and hands into prayer. And just really soaking the sun, feeling nice and strong throughout the leg. You can kind of
going to start to pull the knee backwards. That will help stabilize the position. And then we'll inhale, reaching the hands up into an open tree. So you may rock a little bit. That's okay. If you fall or you become unbalanced, just try and come down as gracefully as possible. But it happens. And then we'll exhale the hands down, releasing the leg. And go ahead and give yourself some more ankle rolls, just a little relaxation. If you want to move the body, maybe just doing any last movements to really relax it, anything that you might have wanted to do that you didn't get to do to help open up the body, slowly making your way back into Shavasana, the corpse pose for final relaxation. So come in to lay on your back. You wanna do a couple things. The feet are a little bit wider than the hips and the hands are several inches away from the body. You want to gently tuck the shoulders back and down. You can wiggle the hips back and forth. Maybe windshield wiper in the legs. Just really get everything to relax. Go ahead and close your eyes now. Really bringing your awareness onto your breath. Filling your lungs and abdomen with oxygen and air. And as you exhale, releasing all that stale air, carbon dioxide. Inhale deeply and fully. And exhale completely. So we'll slowly begin to cultivate a wave of relaxation throughout the body. So starting at the toes, feeling the feet relaxing, feeling the calves and legs relaxing, letting the abdomen and hips relax, letting the stomach and the chest and the upper back relax. Feeling the neck and shoulders relax. Feeling that relaxation begin to stem down the hands and arms, out through the fingertips. Feeling the jaw relax, letting the face relax. Letting the mouth relax so the tongue should just be soft. Letting the eyes soften. Letting your full body just completely relax and surrender into gravity. And if you notice that you're still holding in any area, just energetically sending your awareness and the power of intention into relaxing that area. You can let the breath soften, just breathing naturally. And letting the mind relax. Letting go of any thoughts. You can pick those up later when we're done. So continuing to relax just deeper and deeper. And you're welcome to stay here on your back, just continuing to relax. Or if you want, we can slowly come back into our bodies and into the room, beginning to wiggle the fingers and toes, awakening up the body, and if you want, you can inhale, bring the legs together, stretching the arms up as far as you can reach right now, 
And then exhale, rolling onto one side, making a little pillow with your hands. Just getting a little bit comfortable, savoring the state of relaxation that you've cultivated. And then keeping the eyes soft or closed. We'll inhale, coming back up to a seated position. Again, grabbing that pillow if you need it. And we'll conclude class with three ohms to just center and say goodbye. Taking a nice deep inhalation to begin. position in front of the heart. We give thanks to ourselves for this practice, to the teachers that have come before us to show the way, and we honor each other in this. Namaste. Thank you for joining us. Again, my name is Mira Hoffman and I'm joined with Katrina Rutman. You can find out more about me and my practice at mirahoffman.com. And make sure to favorite this video so you can come back to it later. You can add it to your yoga playlist. We always welcome comments from our viewers. We love to know what you liked about the class. If you struggled with any of the poses, just let us know so we can help you and facilitate your growth along this pathway. And tune in and subscribe to the Psyche Truth channel where you can find thousands of videos on health, wellness, yoga, massage, nutrition, natural living, anything. It's there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye.